Hello, you two. Why aren't you at work? Mama's got so many cake orders that I've stayed off to look after baby. Yay! We'll race you to the playground. <laughs> Wait for me. <laughs> for you, Nana. <laughs> Wait for me. I'm going. I'm going. Wait for us. Hold on. I won. Oh, I'm not used to all this exercise. Are you feeling all right? Oh, yes, Dr. Beetle. Just catching my breath. Hmm. Well, I think I'd better give you a checkup. Uh, say, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, follow my finger. Ah, hmm? uh, just as I thought. You're most unfit. Do you do any exercise? Um. Yes? No, you don't, Papa. You sit on the sofa and read the newspaper all the time. And eat lots of honey pancakes. Hmm, just as I thought. Now, you need to do some sport and exercise. You'll be fitter and you'll feel better too. Hmm? OK, Dr Beetle, I'll get exercising. And we'll help him. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> can stop by playing tennis. We'll get the rackets. <sighs> Dr Beetles told me to get fit. Want to join us? Too busy, I'm afraid. I've still got all these honey bites to deliver. Oh. I'll look after baby. Enjoy your exercise. <sighs> We're ready. Time to get fit. <laughs> Come on over to me. <laughs> Come on, oh, Papa. Yes. Huh? Come back! He's got away! Oh, come back this way! Oh, oh. oh. we'll catch him, Grandpa! <laughs> come on then, Dad! Oh. Come back! 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 Gotcha. Oh, oh, thanks, everyone. Come on, naughty jump. Oh, silly boy. Wait, wait. <laughs> Come on, Papa. You're supposed to be exercising. OK, let's do some stretching. Dear. What's the matter, Mr Millipede? Silly old me, I've run out of petrol and we're in a hurry. I've got ice cream in here and it will melt if we don't get it in the freezer. We could give you a push. But we're supposed to be stretching. But this is an emergency. <sighs> Come on, Papa, you can do it. Thank you so much. I'll just nip and get some petrol. And I'll get this into the freezer. Would you like an ice cream for all your hard work? Ooh, yes, please. <coughs> Maybe not, Millis. I'm trying to keep fit and healthy. Well, all right then. It's difficult to exercise when things keep stopping us. How about a quick fly around the flower fields before supper? Yeah! There's no one to ask for help here. <laughs> oh, hello. <gasps> Could you help me in my greenhouse? I can't reach my tomatoes. Actually, we're trying Would to... Would love to help, Katie. <sighs> oh, thank you so much, everyone. We're going to have to get back to the hive now. It's almost supper time. Papa, you're never going to get fit if you keep helping people instead of exercising. 
Ah, hello again. Now, how's the exercising going? Um, actually... Oh, yes, um, sounding better already. Healthier and happier. Oh, uh, keep up the good work. Hmm? Ah, <clears throat> where was I? But you haven't done any exercise. I must have been getting fit from all the work we've done today. Chasing after jump, pushing the car and collecting tomatoes. So doing a good deed can be good for you? Looks like it. I feel great. Come on, let's get supper ready for Mama. I'm home, everyone. Looks like your exercising was hard work. But lots of fun. <laughs> <laughs> to do it. Look at me, Jasper the juggler. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Attention, everybody. <gasps> the Queen is coming, so you all need to stand properly as she passes by. But Lord Bartleby, we're practising our juggling. No time for that. Everyone should act sensibly when the Queen passes <gasps> by. Oh, my shoe! <laughs> no, 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 you can't be laughing. The Queen is here. Stand up straight, no slouching. Hello, everyone. Um, nothing to see here, Your Majesty. <laughs> you really should learn to do things properly. Uh, Your Majesty, wait for me! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Your Majesty? Uh, yes? Is there anything you'd like me to do? Maybe I could fetch you a tasty pollen stopper. No, I'm fine, Bartleby. I'm off to the flower fields this afternoon, so I won't be needing you. Oh, you won't need me. Then what shall I do? Go and have some fun. Fun? Anyone for more juggling? No. Let's do something we're good at, like playing on the swings. Yeah! <gasps> oh, no! It's Lord Bartleby. Let's go somewhere else. He's no fun. Hang on, he doesn't look very happy. Are you OK, Lord Bartleby? Oh, I, I'm fine, Busby. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. Actually, the Queen told me to go and have some fun, but I don't know how. Oh. How about having a swing? That's fun. Oh, no. Oh, I, I don't think so. Just hold on tight and you'll be fine. Ooh, I'm not sure about this. Oh, 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 oh. Whee! Oh, this is phantasmagorical. <laughs> That's just the start. We've got loads more fun for you. Uh, I didn't realise that catch could be such fun. <laughs> oh, 
I didn't realise you could be so much fun, Lord Bartleby. Yeah, you've gone from a honeybee to a funny bee. <laughs> 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 Let's make this even more fun. <laughs> Cat! Oh. Oh. oh dear, I say. Oh. Oh dear. <laughs> wow, oh. you're oh. really juggling. So I am. <laughs> Could you teach us to do it? Oh, I think so. Grab some berries. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It seems to be all about keeping organised, and I'm good at that. <laughs> You've got to keep your eye on the berries. Oh, oh no! Oh, just get hold of that. <laughs> Back straight. Concentrate. <laughs> We're doing it. Thanks, Lord Bartleby. Oh, oh, oh. oh Bartleby. <laughs> you. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, it's the Queen. <laughs> Stand up straight. But, Lord Bartleby. Come along. I want everyone to act properly this time. Oh, oh good day, Your Majesty. And how have you been? I've had a lovely visit, Bartleby, but I must say I've missed you. You. you did? Oh, I. I've missed you too, Your Majesty. Did you manage to have some fun? Indeed. I'm told I'm a funny bee. Not anymore. Which is why I've arranged <laughs> a juggling display for you. Oh, how marvellous. Come on, everyone. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's lovely to hear everyone laughing. People usually act so properly when I pass by. <laughs> yes, things will be different from now on. Lord Bartleby, why don't you show the Queen your dancing? Uh, oh, no, no. <laughs> I think that might be pushing things a bit too far. <laughs> <laughs> a special breakfast, then presents and games. It needs to look nice, Busby. <gasps> Goodness! Breakfast out already? Happy Mother's Day! Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be the best Mother's Day ever. I can't wait. I'm even going to share my honey whirls. That's very kind, Busby. But I think I'd like toast, please. But this is my favourite and it's much better. Oh, um, all right then. Honey whirls it is. Here, Mama, I've made you a card. Ruby, that's lovely. My Mother's Day surprise is even better. Mother's Day surprise? How exciting. <laughs> This is my Mother's Day surprise. Yep, it's my favourite ball. And I'm going to let you play with it all day. Ah, great. Right, here it comes. Quick, you have to run and get it. <sighs> Oh, yes, I would. But I think I need a little sit down. No problem. I know just the thing. Oh, 
That's better. Whoa! Whoa! Fast me! Fast me! No! This oh. is the best game ever! And I don't mind pushing because it's Mother's Day. Whoa! I think you better stop, Busby! Don't worry, I'm fine. And I can go faster. Whee! <laughs> Busby, stop! Huh? What's the matter? Mama isn't enjoying it. Isn't she? Thanks, Ruby. Oh, I am dizzy. Oh. Oh, that's better. Goodness, what a day. So you didn't like the roundabout then? Well... What about the ball game? Um, The Honey World? The thing is, Busby, they're not my favourite things. They're yours. Um. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Busby. Hi. What's wrong? I turned Mother's Day into Busby's Day. How? By doing things I like instead of things Mama likes. My Mama likes to sleep in, so I was this quiet this morning. That is quiet. And I made a card with rainbows on. Rainbows are her favourite. I wish I'd done that. There's lots of time left to do things she likes. Really? Yes. It's Mother's Day until bedtime. You're right. Maybe it can still be the best Mother's Day ever. Thanks, Barnaby. Who? Oh? Papa, Papa! I've thought of three of Mama's favourite things for Mother's Day. Have you now? What are they? The first one is tea. The second is healthy snacks. And the last one is... is... Um... Well, stop dancing around and you might remember. That's it! Dancing! Well done, Papa! Will you help me? Well, of course, Busby. Whoa! Oh, Ruby, listen. I love that tune. Hello, we're home. Welcome home, Mama. I made you tea because it's what you like. Wow! Thank you, Busby. That's really thoughtful. And we made snacks. Healthy snacks. It looks delicious. But best of all, your most favourite thing, dancing with Papa. That is my favourite thing. Was it your idea too, Busby? It's your day, not Busby's day. Everybody's driving, driving at the high. Everybody's driving, driving at the high. <laughs> Boy, this place is buzzing, this party's coming alive. Cos everybody's driving, driving at the high. <laughs> Thank you so much for thinking of all these things I like. I think it's the best Mother's Day ever. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa? Mine's really good, isn't it? Hmm. Oh, hard to say. They're both very good. Oh, it's no good. I can't make up my mind. Let's take them home and let Grandma decide. Good idea. And I can do more painting at home. Huh. Grandma will like mine the best. Well, I'm going to do an even better one when I get home. Careful with the paint, Busby. It's all right, Grandpa. See? Easy peasy. Whoa! Look out, Whoa. Busby! Oops. Oh, you better get that cleaned up, Busby. You've made a big mess. 
Come on, let's go home and get a mop and bucket. Oh. Oh, and and show Grandma your paintings. We're back. Oh. Which painting is best, Grandma? <laughs> <laughs> Slow down. Let me look at them properly then. They're both lovely. Busby, yours is very uh, green. <laughs> uh, 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 um, talking of green, you've got some cleaning up to do, Busby. <sighs> ah, that's Jasper. We're going out to play. You've got to clean up first, Busby. Don't worry, it won't take long. Plenty of time for playing afterwards. All right. I can't play yet, Jasper. I spilt some paint and have to clean it up. Boring. Hey, I need that to clean up the paint. And I need it for my game of bucket catch. Want to play? Uh, I need to clean up first. Come on. OK, one quick game. <laughs> Throw it. Oh, oh, dear. Oops. Sorry, Dr Beetle. <sighs> My bag. Oh, and I'm in a frightful hurry. Have you got an emergency? Yes, it's poor Katie Pillar. Her feet have turned green. Oh, dear, dear. Oh, dear. <sighs> oh, dear. As a gardener, I'm used to green fingers. But not my poor feet. Yes, I see <gasps> they really have gone green. Oh, let me see. What could this be? <laughs> <gasps> oh, Dr. Beetle! Now you've caught it! Uh, uh, mm, it would appear so. <gasps> oh, hello, boys. Hmm. When exactly did you notice your feet were green? Well, just after I finished my morning work, I sat down for a cuppa, and all of a sudden, there they were! <laughs> ah! Just as I thought. No need to panic. I think you've got a simple case of luminous paintus. Ooh. Yeah. Follow me. Ah, now he's out. Hmm. Hmm. Aha! Found you. There's one over there too, and over here. I think you'll find that this is the source of your green feet, Katie. Luminous painters. I must have trodden in it earlier. How silly of me. And how careless of someone to have spilled it and not cleaned it up. That was me, Dr Beetle. I'm sorry I didn't clean it up. I meant to, but I was playing bucket catch and I forgot. That was my idea. It's a great game. I'm sure it is. What about all this mess? Poor Katie Pillar has had a terrible shock. Oh, never mind. My feet will soon wash clean. But I am a little worried about the grass. The grass won't mind. It's green already. Paint's bad for grass, Busby. Grass needs air and light to breathe and grow. Sorry, Katie Pillar. Sorry, grass. I'll clean it all up right away. <laughs> One. Nearly finished. Ah, <sighs> all done. <gasps> What's the matter? My bottom is stopping the grass breathing. <gasps> <laughs> 
don't worry. You won't be there long. The grass won't mind for a little while. It's my new sesame bakes. If Millis likes them, she's going to order some for Ant Hill stores. Can Barnaby and I try a little one? Yeah. Or the corner of a little one? Please? Hmm. If you help me out, you can have a whole one each. Yay! How can we help? I need some orders delivering while I clean up the kitchen. We'll get right to it. The sesame bakes need to go to Millis. This seed cake is for Katie Pillar, and these honeycomb biscuits are for Miss Ladybird. Oh, and could you just return this screwdriver to Mr Millipede, please? OK, Papa. It's important you remember who's getting what. It helps to be organised. Don't worry. I'll remember everything. <laughs> Bye. Mmm. <laughs> these do smell yummy. Oh, dear. Oh, we're behind. Hello, Postman Spider. Is something wrong? Howdy doody. I forgot to give Dr. Beetle his parcel. That's okay. We're making deliveries today. We can drop it off for you. Oh, thanks, boys. I've still got all these letters to post. Bye. We've got loads of things to deliver. I hope we can remember who gets what. That's easy. We've got sesame bakes hot from the oven for Millis to try. We hope she'll love them. That rhymed. <laughs> Come on then, let's get going. We've got sesame bakes hot from the oven. For Millis to try, we hope she'll love them. And then we've got to go and take Katie Pillar a healthy sea cake. A tool for Mr. Millipede. We're making deliveries at super speed. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we have a quick play? But what about the deliveries? Um, we'll just have one quick go on everything. <laughs> Maybe just a few more quick goes? <laughs> Now for the deliveries. You start the rhyme, Barnaby. Oh, I can't remember how it goes. Let me think. Uh, we've got a screwdriver um, with a shiny bit. A Melissa try. Um, we hope she'll like it. See? I knew we'd remember it. Hi, Grandma. Hi, Millis. I've got something new for you to try for Mama. Oh, that's always a treat. What is it? A screwdriver. <laughs> oh, I don't think that's right, Busby. Oh, but the rhyme goes. We've got a screwdriver with a shiny bit for Millis to try. Um, we hope she'll like it. But Vince has already got one. Maybe it's this parcel we're supposed to give you. This is addressed to Dr. Beetle. Oh, no. We've got everything mixed up, even our rhyme. Your mum did mention something about sesame bakes. That's it, Busby. We've got sesame bakes for Millis to try. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Oh, oh, delicious. Tell your mum I'll take a dozen boxes, please. But how are we going to remember who the other things are for? Mama was right. It does help to be organised. 
I always make a list when I need to remember things like shopping. We could do that. Millis, can I borrow a pencil and paper, please? We'll remember everything this way. Let's get delivering. Sesame Bakes. And now it's our turn to try them. Thank you, boys. There are some in the tin just there. <gasps> They're all gone. Uh, um, sorry, boys. I uh, didn't know they were for you. Papa? <laughs> Looks like I'll have to make some more then. <gasps> Except I seem to have run out of sesame seeds and honey. We can get you some more. We'll make a list. It helps to be organised. Yay! It's the school trip today! I know. That's why I'm making you both a special packed lunch. Ooh! Can I have juicy apple? Crunchy carrot sticks? Peanut butter sandwiches? No! Cheese and pickle! Some cherry pie! Or a berry muffin! And the magic word is... Please! <laughs> OK, it'll be ready in a minute. Yay! <laughs> Come on, Busby. Just checking my lunchbox. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> Busby, you've only just had your breakfast. Papa said food gives you energy, and I need energy for the school trip. You're just being a big greedy bee. No, I'm not. Good morning, everyone. Are you all ready for our trip to the flower fields? Yay! Have you all got your lunch? We don't want anyone going hungry. Mine's a very special pat lunch with carrot sticks, crunchy ones. Busby, Miss Ladybird has asked me to carry the paper and colouring pencils today. So can you hold my lunchbox? Hey, what's the magic word? Please! Now, come on everybody, let's go. <gasps> this morning, the worker bees will show us how they collect pollen. And they'll be asking for one of you to help them. If you eat all your lunch now, Busby, you'll be hungry later. No, I'll be big and strong for when the worker bees ask me to help them. No way, they're going to ask me. No, I'll be the biggest and strongest. The greediest, you mean? Oh, it's all gone. that, children. The perfume of flowers. Lovely. Ah. Mmm. Ah. Peanut butter. Lovely. Ruby wouldn't mind if I just had a little... Oh. 
cherry pie. You'll pop if you don't stop eating, Busby. <laughs> right then, who wants to help the worker bees? <gasps> okay, Busby, you can do it. Good luck. My tummy. <laughs> Dear me, Busby. You better sit down. Perhaps you ate too much breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> too much lunch, she means. <laughs> Sorry, Busby. You can't help the worker bees with a funny tummy. Ruby, why don't you go instead? You bet. You can have lunch when you get back. Too bad she doesn't have any lunch. Hey, Busby. <gasps> Why don't you ask everyone for one thing from their lunchbox? That way Ruby will have something to eat. OK, then. I hope you all enjoyed yourselves. Just one thing before you go, just a sec. I had a very interesting lunch, Busby. Oh, uh, good. Not what I was expecting. <sighs> OK, OK. I ate your lunch, so I asked everyone to share their lunches with you. I knew it. They were both so yummy, I couldn't help it. You ate two packed lunches, Busby? Yes, Miss Ladybird. No wonder you had a funny tummy. Sorry, Ruby. I guess I am a greedy bee after all. Fruit lollies for everyone. Oh. I'm a bit full, thank you. Ruby can have mine. <laughs> <laughs> Right, what's next on my list? Oh, look, space bees. Oh, careful. Oh, I guess we'll be buying cereal then. There was something inside. Oh. What are these for, Grandpa? Well, um, oh. I don't believe it. You've won two tickets for the Space Bees movie. <laughs> wow, that's brilliant. I'm going to see Space Bees. Yippee! <sighs> The movies. We used to go all the time. <laughs> I remember. So, Busby, two tickets. Who will you take with you? Hmm. Look, Jasper, I've won tickets to the Space Bees movie. Wow, Space Bees. Bees in space. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> um, can I come with you? <laughs> OK. <laughs> Oh, be careful, Busby. Uh, maybe we should go outside. There's a lot more space out there. See you later. Blast off. See you. You're the best friend ever. Whee! Whoosh! Oh, I wish I had a spaceship to carry all this shopping. <laughs> Hello, Busby. Barnaby, guess what? I've got two tickets to the Space Bees movie. 
Whee! Wow! Can I come? OK, brilliant! You're the best friend ever! Three, two, one! Bees in space! So, who are you taking with you to the movie, Busby? Barnaby! He loves space bees! Oh, hey, hey! Oh, hang on. Didn't you ask Jasper? <gasps> oh, no! I was being a space bee with Barnaby and forgot about Jasper. Oh, you'll just have to tell Barnaby that you already asked Jasper. Oh, yes. OK. <laughs> I'm a space bee. Me too. Busby's taking me to see the movie. Eh? He's not taking you. He's taking me. No, he's not. He's taking me. Oops. Busby, who are you taking to the movie? Me or Barnaby? You. <gasps> I, I mean you. <gasps> I mean both of you. You're both my best friends. You'll just have to decide who's your best best friend. I want you both to come, but there are only two tickets. You said I could come. And you said I could come. Oh, don't be sad. Here you are. Now I don't have a ticket. There you are. <gasps> now let's... Oh, don't worry. I don't want to go anymore anyway. Nor do I. You said I could go, but now you say I can't. Best friends don't do that. <sighs> now I don't feel like going to the Space Bee movie. Oh, it's not so bad, Busby. Don't forget that you can see space every night. What do you mean? You don't need a movie ticket to see space. Really? Tell you what, bring your friends round after tea and I'll show you. OK. And I know what I can do with these. <laughs> <laughs> hello, everyone. Oh, hello, Busby. Have you decided who your best, best friend is yet? Yes, both of you. Eh? And I'm going to prove it. <laughs> I still don't get it. Why are we looking at the sky? Keep watching. is amazing and real space is a billion times better than a movie we really are bees in space oh hello there everyone thanks for the tickets busby we had a lovely time so did we we really did but now i think it's bedtime for space bees <laughs> okay just one more thing to do ready Three, two, one. Bees in space! Bumble began to rumble, began to roar. Who's there? <gasps> Who 
dare to knock on my door? Rat-a-tat-tat! -tat. Oh! <laughs> Rat-a-tat-tat! I bet it's the pirate ship, mate! Or the long-lost princess! Or maybe it's Captain Beaky Bee, the wickedest pirate that ever sailed the high seas! <gasps> Captain Beaky Bee? Yes, Captain Beaky Bee and his long pointy nose, perfect for sniffing out pirates' treasure. <gasps> And we'll find out tomorrow in the next exciting chapter of Piraticus Tat Taticus. Oh. Night, Busby. Sleep tight. Don't let the pirates bite. <laughs> I'll never be able to sleep. I'm too excited. Shh. You don't want Captain Beaky Bee to sniff you out. <gasps> I can't wait to hear the end of the story. Me neither. <laughs> Mama, who was knocking on Pirate Bumble's door? Please tell us. I don't know. We'll just have to wait for Papa to tell us when he comes home later. Oh. If you want the day to go quicker, you could pick up my egg order from Antil Stores. Let's go. Vincent Millis might know the ending of the story. <laughs> I think it was the long-lost princess Pirate Bumble was waiting for. A princess wouldn't go rat-a-tat-tat on the door. Why not? Hello, you two. Did I hear you talking about a princess? It's a story Papa was telling us. Once upon a time, there was a pirate. <gasps> and Pirate Bumble roared out, Who's there who dare knock on my door? rat a tat tat What a story! What happens next? Who was at the door? Oh, come on, tell us! We don't know. It might be his pirate shipmate. Or the long-lost princess. We have to wait until Papa gets home from work to hear the rest. Oh, I wonder who was at the door. Oh, I hope it was the princess. It would be so... So romantic. <laughs> romantic? Yuck, that's not piratey. <laughs> rat -a -tat -tat, I'm a long lost princess. I'm a princess. I'm a princess. I'm a princess. I'm a princess. Princesses don't even go rat a tat tat. Pirates do. Howdy do, Deep. What's that about pirates? Hello. Have you heard of Pirate Bumble? Mm, can't say I have. Never done much sailing myself. Well, once upon a time, there was a pirate. So it might be wicked Captain Beaky Bee. When does your papa get home? Mama, when will papa get home? Soon. Oh. <gasps> Pirate Bumble's shipmates, the long-lost princess. Vincent Millis? Oh. Um, we brought these, um, just in case, uh, you didn't have enough. Um... When is your papa due home? Uh, we could just wait to say hello, perhaps. Uh... <gasps> papa! Hello? Oh. Hello! Oh! 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 Yes. Ah. oh, oh. What's all this? Are we having a party? They're all here for the story. Piraticus Tat Taticus. So, who was at Pirate, Pirate Bumble's, Bumble's door? Is it the princess? Um, I don't know really. Sort of um made the story up. Oh, <gasps> made it up? But isn't that cheating? No, most stories are made up. That's half the fun. They can end however we like. Really? Then could you make up an ending right now? I'll give it a good go. 
Hmm. Pirate Bumble began to rumble, began to roar. Who's there? Who dare to knock on my door? <gasps> we do, we do, a chorus of voices replied. Happy birthday, Bumble. It was all Bumble's pirate shipmates come to wish him a happy birthday. <laughs> about the princess. Then they all sailed off on a new adventure and found the long-lost princess on a desert island. Oh, super! <laughs> <laughs> and the long-lost princess was so pleased to see them, she baked them their very favourite treasure trove cupcakes. And it was Pirate Bumble's best birthday ever. The end. <laughs> <laughs> First. Okay, Mama. Hey! <laughs> oh. <laughs> hmm. I could draw or read or oh, I could build something. Or play ball. Whoops! <laughs> When you finish tidying, we can... Oh! You're supposed to be tidying, Busby. Not making things messier. <sighs> OK. Still tidying? Uh-huh. I finished mine ages ago. I'm going out to play now. Bye. <sighs> I want to go out and play too. Right. <laughs> all done. And no pushing it all under your bed. You need to find a home for everything. But I like my room messy. It'll take ages to find a home for everything. <sighs> Hmm, unless I build a home for everything. I can make a den just for me and my things. Perfect. Need my things. There, that's more like it. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello, Barnaby. Hello, Jasper. Welcome to my den. Cool. It's amazing. Let's see inside. Whoops. Oh, Isn't it great? I built it myself. Oh, there's lots of stuff. Uh, it's a bit untidy. Let's play catch. My football's here. Somewhere. What are you boys up to? I've built my own den, Ruby. 
can we come in? Everyone's welcome. What a mess! It's just how I like it. It's too messy to play in. Come on, Debbie. Let's find somewhere else. I know I've got snakes and ladders in here somewhere. Excuse me. Ouch! I can't find it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Debbie! <laughs> I'm going to play there. See you later. Fine. You and I can still have fun, though, eh, Barnaby? Aha! Uh -huh. Trip over. Come and bounce. Hmm. No, thank you. I prefer my den. Your den is just too messy to play in, Busby. It's not too messy. Look, there's loads of room. I'm whizzing around and around. Oh, who put that there? <gasps> Busby, are you all right? <laughs> I guess it really is messy now. <laughs> what happened? It's so tidy. I've decided that being tidy is much less trouble than being messy. I think I need to lie down. <laughs> <laughs> Busby, remember this from when you were a baby. Is it one of my old toys? No, it's one of Papa's old toys. It's a video camera. Wow, can I have a go? Yeah, you just press this red button and point it at what you want to film. <gasps> Thanks, Papa. I'm going to make a film. What's your film about, Busby? An ordinary day on Honey Farm. Oh, are you filming already, Busby? Yoo-hoo! Hello, Busby! Yoo-hoo! You can't wave. It's an ordinary day on Honey Farm. You have to do what you always do. See you, baby. <laughs> Bye, Busby. You can't go. You're in my film. I have to go to work. That's an ordinary day for me. Oh. Teddy bee, teddy bee, touch the ground. Teddy bee, teddy bee, turn around. Teddy bee. Hi, Busby. What are you doing? Shh. I'm filming you. Just keep skipping. Wow. I'm going to be in a film. Let me have a go, Busby. When I finish my film. Are you sure you're doing it right, Busby? Maybe I should be in charge of the camera. No. This is my film. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> OK, start playing. Cool, let's have a kickabout. Oh, not football again. Just because I'm better than you. I know. Hide and seek. No way. You always win because you're so quiet. Uh, ready? Just because I'm better than you. OK, we'll play it. Let's see who's better at that, slow worm. We always play it. <sighs> I'm trying to make a film. 
Uh, mm, we have to act naturally, Millis. Do what we usually do. Um, are my antennae straight, dear? Go on. Uh, <clears throat> just an ordinary day at Ant Hill Stores, <laughs> where you'll find friendly service. Everything you need. Is your camera switched oh, on? Shush, Millis. Uh, and don't forget our special <laughs> offer on that tummy warming treat. Watch out! <laughs> Rice and honey pudding! Oh no! I'd love to be in your film, Busby. I knew just what you're looking for. At last. Thanks, Katie Pillar. But I wanted you to do ordinary things. But Busby, my dancing's much more interesting. <sighs> Okay, baby. Just do what you do on an ordinary day. <sighs> you don't do very much, do you? <sighs> All this filming has made me feel sleepy. <sighs> Come on, Busby. Time to wake up. What happened? Oh, you must have fallen asleep. Making a film is tiring work. The camera's still running. Let's look at what you've done. It won't be very good. Oh, don't worry, Busby. Making a film takes practice. That was so funny. I didn't want it to be funny. Let's turn it off. <gasps> Look! Wow! Baby's hovering! I've never seen her do that before. I didn't see this. I must have been asleep. I think this is the first time she's ever flown. And it's all on film, thanks to Busby. Not bad for your first film. Wow! I filmed an extraordinary day on Honey Farm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you did. Oh, well done, Busby. <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs>